Hey guys, in this video I just want to share a quick little uh, trick that I learned um, kind of the hard way. But here's the trick. So let's say you have a character that's fully um, UV'd, rigged, and he is even animated. So in this case, um, he's doing uh, one of the Mixamo dances. Okay. Now, let's say for some reason I have to go in into the model and change the UVs. Now normally uh, you always want to do textures and UVs before you do rigging and animation because later um, when you export it could create all kinds of problems. But sometimes if you are in the situation where in, when you do have to edit UVs for whatever reason. Um, so in this case when I click on my mesh right you can see that the only in the channel box the only uh, history I have is the skin cluster which is the joints driving the mesh and it's nice and clean but as soon as I go into let's say I go into uh, my UVs right and let's say I want to make a change to this backpack or the jetpack whatever that is um, let's say I come in here and I make change in the UVs doesn't matter what it is but um, I'll just make a little change and as soon as I do you can see that the history now has um, UVs UV change as part of the list right and now if you are staying in Maya and you're animating maybe that's not a problem and it could still work but if you export this into a game engine many times this will create um, really bad uh, situations and even break the characters so all you need to do is just simply go to edit delete by type and watch um, this uh, history thing when I go to edit delete by type and instead of clearing the history I'm gonna say non deformer history you can see that the uh, change that we did with the UVs was taken out and essentially baked in right so now it's not it's no longer part of the history and now uh, the character is going to act and animate uh, the same way but if you export it out um, it's not going to have that uv information uh, as part of the model so that's a really huge uh, life-saving trick that you need to keep uh, keep in mind like if you um, are in production environment and somebody wants to change the uvs really quick but you already did the rigging and the texturing uh, don't panic just simply uh, clear the non-deformer history and you're you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video